So have you ever thought when you looked at an SCP author that maybe they know better about what they're doing in all facets of life just because they're a good writer? Well, if you think anything close to that, you're wrong. And let's talk about why. We're not worthy! We're not Shut up. So this isn't super common, I don't think, but there's enough people out there, and I've run into them more than once, that believe that SCP authors are somehow inherently better than everyone else. Now, I want to be clear, there is a distinction here. SCP authors are good at understanding how to get something to survive on the SCP wiki, but outside of that, that's where your fandom should stop. And I run into this all the time myself, and it's slightly annoying. Ultimately, if you hold an SCP author up to be some sort of a idol to worship, then what you're doing is, is you're placing them a tier above yourself. Anyone can write for the SCP wiki. It's not even very difficult. All you really need is a good understanding of the English language, a little self-awareness, and the ability to take criticism from other people and turn it into something good. And I see this come up with a lot of SCP authors, and sometimes it's just somebody who only has one article getting held up to be like, oh my god, you did it. You're finally one of them. But that's the thing. It isn't any different just because you finally wrote an article for the wiki. And that's another reason why it could be unhealthy, because then someone finally gets their article to stick and they're like, nothing really changed. This is everything I was wanting, and now it's nothing different. And that's really the problem with hero-worshipping anyone. And this isn't just about SCP authors, this is about anyone who, like, writers of any kind, directors, actors, singers, anybody who creates content for a lot of people is bound to pick up a lot of fans, and fans are fine. But when you stop treating people like people and start treating them like an ideal, you're basically shortchanging yourself and you're shortchanging them. I guess the basic message here is this. Stop treating SCP authorship like it's anything other than an ability to help you understand how to write articles for the SCP Wiki. The SCP Wiki is not the be-all end-all of your life, or at least it shouldn't be. And just because you finally got to the point where you wrote something for the Wiki doesn't mean that your life is going to be any better. It's going to be exactly the same as it was yesterday, only you will have something published on the Wiki. Somebody quoted me something recently from somebody else who basically said that since I was an established author on the wiki that everyone was looking up to me and something I had done let them down. Like, I'm responsible for the way they look at me. Now it's important for me to be cognizant of these sorts of things so I'm not un inadvertently manipulating somebody into doing what I want, but on the other hand, it's not my responsibility to understand how you view me or any other author. You need to learn to treat people like people and requests like requests. And if I do something you don't like, I'm not letting you down because I shouldn't be an ideal you aspire to. Except for, you know, authoring. I think there's a problem where people want to tie in their sense of self-worth to the things they like, and by extension sometimes tying that self-worth in to the people who create the things that they like. And perhaps it's a very natural thing to do, and honestly, what we deal with on the SCP Wiki is significantly smaller than I'm sure what a lot of people have to deal with on grander scales. But at the same time, the individual behavior is just as toxic, even if it's smaller. And in some senses, there's less barriers between authors and fans, so at the same time, it can be more immediate. But anyway, that's the basic message here. Don't treat SCP authors as anything other than experts on how to get things to stick on the wiki. Anything else is unsubstantiated by evidence. That's it. If you want to support my content, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash decimarian, just like everybody on this list here. Pledge a dollar, pledge five dollars, pledge ten or twenty. Either way, it'll help support this content and make sure more keeps getting made. Links, as always, will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.